Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Anne Matee, and today we're going to take a look at standing hamstring curls. Traditionally, hamstring curls we do lying down on the long box on the reformer. Great for working the back of the leg, great for athletes opening up the front of the hip. But sometimes in a group class that can be difficult to get set up for because at least on these balanced body reformers, we need to shorten the straps to do that. And it can be hard to cue people into that with the straps on their feet and everyone gets a little jumbled up. So a simple way to deal with that in a group class setting or for any athlete is to do it while standing, still using the reformer. So athletes, we always want to take them as much as we can to standing up exercises, right? Because that challenges their balance, challenges their movement, the way they hold themselves, and that's the way they are actively running or biking, whatnot. So super easy. You just stand inside the well of the machine, inside the frame. and. For lining up purposes, I like to take my standing leg and line it up here with the center, with the headrest. And then someone has to have good balance to do this. You can find the genie arms, sometimes helps people find, remember their lats, or maybe they can go out to the side if that helps them balance. They're gonna take their inside leg up and just hook their heel, their Achilles, on the shoulder block, right? So right here, we're challenging our hips, challenging all that pelvic stability, and you can just pull and release. So someone has to have a lot of focus to stand and be able to do this. It's super isolating, just gets the back of the leg. They have to work their bellies. You want to cue long in the waist, right? If you have a mirror, put it in front of them, that helps a lot, right? And they can, they can flex their foot a little bit, but it doesn't really matter what their foot's doing. This is just one red spring, so it's pretty light. You could, you could work it up heavier for um, a taller, heavier, stronger person for sure, or go down if someone has good balance but don't have a lot of strength. You could do less springs. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question you'd like answered on an upcoming episode, comment below on our forum or Twitter or Facebook. See you next time and never stop learning.